shit. Let's see, let's do this. All right, boom, we ready. Ready? Right, right, right. Yo, we back in here. Another week, another banger. We got a we got a good episode that I'm excited for. Somebody that I've been recommended. Somebody I've been excited to. You know who recommended me? Who? See? Uh, Lil, Unrated Lil Chris. Oh, yeah. I was like, yo, who should I interview? That is my dub. He was the first one. He said you first. Oh, yeah. Yep. My man, he been like that with me, though. That was my mm-hmm. man. That was one of the first rappers in Baltimore that was really fucking with me. For real? For sure. I, swear to God. I was like 14. He was watching me fucking with me for real. That's hard. Yeah, shit. That's hard, but um, a lot of y'all, y'all seen his faces. You know, he's 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 one of the bottom of rappers that I can say is um, representing a lot for more so the good side of Baltimore. Which, um, putting if, if I would say my words, letting people see in. You know what I'm saying? Right. Showing showing what the environment is like. Um, big chopper, everybody. What it is? What it is? What's up with you, Sunday? Yeah, blessed. You right? Man. You said you was lit last night. Usually I ask what you got going on tonight, but niggas yeah, don't I usually was, do shit on Sundays. I was fried. I was fucking fried last night. All the dawn mixed with the deep Eddie. Oh shit my was, goodness! Shit was real. That sounds like. How long was you up? Were you, are you stay up late type of guy? Bro, I how yeah. I swear to God, I was. I when the fuck I want to sleep. I don't know. That was like down there going on daytime. Real mm-hmm. shit. By the time I really went to sleep, like I the sun was coming up. up. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I can't stay up like that. I go I was to in the, a booth to the middle of the night. Uh huh. Probably like two, three in the morning. We was geeking. Okay, that's how is that how usually your studio sessions go? Yeah, for late, sure. You, you do it late night? I go at nighttime. I don't like to go to the booth during the day. Mm-hmm. I go at night, and then by the time I get out, that bitch it be down there the next day. Sometimes try that shit be working. Oh shit! Well, um, that's that shows dedication. How long have you been going to a studio like that? Like, if you had to believe it or not, I really just started like really getting in a habit of really being in there like all night. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I ain't, I don't like that shit. Cause when I get tired, my vibe get like, I'm sleepy. My vibe ain't even here no more. I'm ready to go. You feel me? But we paying for this shit. So it's like, I got to be here. So I slow down my pace, how fast I'm making the songs, shit like that. Like, my man KD, before he died, rest mm-hmm. in peace, KD for real. He the first nigga that really had me in the booth overnight. Like, for real? Yeah, first nigga had me in the booth overnight. I'm talking about mm-hmm. not leaving. I, been in there until in the, the middle of the night and leave. No, we in that bitch days. Like, we slept Damn. in the booth, woke up, working, went to sleep again, woke up. So I'm talking about the same drawers. <laughs> Niggas ain't even need to take a shower. Real shit. Wow, you, a lot of people A lot of people are not dedicated to anything like that. Yeah, I wasn't even dedicated to that at that point. He made me do that shit. Like, bro, come on, bro. We got to give it to him. Like, we got to get hot by the summer. That's what happened in 2020. Shit. That's a that's a that's that's a that's a that's a motivational story, you know. Yeah, Do you shit. see yourself as a motivational person? Like, you know, people look up to you that way. They, you know, a lot of people just see themselves as like the rapper type shit. But yeah. if you look at it, look at it, and not you know what I'm saying. You are like that. Yeah, in reality, bro, I ain't really. Like, I, I do, I do the rap because I love it, bro. Like, I just feel like that shit. I like, get, I'm comfortable. Like when I'm in a booth, I'm comfortable. You feel what I'm saying? I'm in a booth, I feel safe. That's my comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Where I get away from everybody else. You feel me? And go in the booth with me. Me, the guys, you feel what I'm saying? Talking about like anything. We go in the booth, chill. Sometimes we go in the booth, we be in the booth, we don't even be rapping sometimes. We just in there cooling, like oh, yeah. vibing, drinking, they smoking and shit, like, you feel me? But then you get in that mold, like, I do the shit for like myself for real, like, mm-hmm. but then I also be trying, I'm definitely trying to make a change with this shit, like, it's a lot of shit I wanna do. I wanna be able to buy my block, like Javon T. Davis and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I wanna be able to look out for people like that that need. Take care of my family type shit. Okay, yeah. that's a that's very big picture. You know, a lot of niggas can't see that. A lot of niggas just see can just see to the get to the deal. Like they they can't even see past that making an actual impact. Nigga just want the money. Like I want that deal. I'm trying to get that. This it definitely bought that. I'm not gonna never sit here and sugarcoat that shit. I mm-hmm. definitely need them riches for sure. But it's like that money can't buy happiness. Shit is real, bro. Like nigga be it's like you gotta look at like a lot of the main industry artists be. Fucked up, sad as shit. You fuck is you complaining about? You rich as a bitch. You crying in a mansion. No, How for you real. Doing that, we got shit to really cry about. Like exactly. But you, remember, you'll never know what somebody going through mentally. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it ain't even always about the money. You feel me? I be trying to take care of people. Like that's how I'm trying to look at. Like got a lot of people depending on me. Like I got two daughters and shit like that. Like so. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah, you know I mean for sure. I really just. I don't know. I be trying to stay in my mode. Okay. 
let's let's try to let's start this interview. I, I want to kind of get into your routine. What do you what do you find yourself doing do you, during the week? During the week, yeah, like you uh, wake up in, not more so on the week, but like you wake up in the morning, like do you eat a special kind of cereal type thing? I don't eat cereal. Damn, yeah, I'm lactose intolerant. That shit fucked up. You lactose. <laughs> Nigga be, bro, I be shitty, like something serious. I drink milk, I'm a blow up. But nah, if I drink lactate, mm -hmm. lactate milk, I could eat cereal. But okay. it's like, I don't even be trying to keep going through all the emotions with that shit. So I'm just ain't gonna eat this shit all. You'd be all. surprised how many niggas be lactose intolerant. Feel I me? Mean? Real shit. Like, but my favorite thing to eat is, like, my favorite snack is MMs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. I don't be shitty until I eat hell of them bitches. <laughs> Feel I me? Mean? But. Real shit. I be like when I wake up, I probably I try to start my day early as possible. Like we be trying to get up at least eight, nine. My mm -hmm. man can't do it over there. You can't get you know up. I'm saying he can't do the shit. <laughs> but we be trying. He barely made this shit. For real, for you sure. about to be late for this? <laughs> nah. Yeah. We woke up at twelve today. Is that twelve? Yeah, we yeah, woke up probably an hour some change before we had to be here. Yeah. That's my schedule. That's my schedule. Real shit. He's at eight, seven o'clock. Yeah, I be trying to get my man up early. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know. Yeah, you be up all night. So how many? Yeah, how many hours of sleep? But it's like, bro, I swear to God, bro, every day I be running off for what, like three hours of sleep, dummy. I swear to God, I be running off for like three hours of sleep. Let me get a little nap, man. We gonna be good. You feel wow. What I'm saying? Hell back. no. Uh, Three hours, I'm charged. Shit, oh, hell no. <laughs> we back. Nigga, I need my shit. I need my sleep. Yeah, need shit. Five hours, six, six hours. Need a few hours. Six, Just six, a little, give me a little nap. Look, that eight quick. hours. Feel me? Like yeah, I don't know why. Me being so upbeat, like, I always feel like I'm going to miss something. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck be wrong with me. Like, I don't know. I always feel like something going on that I'm going to miss. I could be doing something right now besides mm -hmm. sleeping. Fam, I'm saying I could be in the booth. We could be shooting a video. I could just be up, just listening to beats, making mm -hmm. a fucking song. You know what I'm saying? I could be doing anything like, or niggas out. We could be partying. We could be doing whatever. Like I don't know. So that's so that's that's you answering my question of what you be doing on your daily routine? Yeah, I just be doing a lot of shit. Oh, I just wow. do it. I just be thinking about that at the time. So I ain't got no daily routine. That's just what's on my mind at the moment. I mm -hmm. just go with it at the moment. We definitely okay. get out, link with the guys. Feel me? Try to get some paper every day. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Got to try going out every day with more money than you went away yesterday. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? That's how we be trying to do it. Chill at the end of the night. Probably chill. Hit the booth or some shit. Like, I don't really know. So out of out of seven days, how many times you be in a booth? Some weeks be better than others. Like, it'll be a week. We don't even go to the booth. It'll be a week. We go three times. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And reality, like rap, man, nigga be wanting to go every day, but you got to think, that shit costs. That shit costs, so, especially just a good studio? Yeah, and we don't go for two hours, like, no, our rappers go two hours. Now we be in that bitch five, six hours. And how much that be running you in, in these rates? Because most of the niggas, they be paying, you know, they be paying low, low rates for those time like Yeah, that. it depends. Like, it can cost, that shit can cost up to 600, that shit can cost 400, 500, for mm -hmm. me, all in them ranges, they be all in them ranges for real. But daily, that if we just it says all five, that's like fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. Feel me a week. Do you have a favorite studio you like to go to, or you just? Yeah, but you know I ain't stand my studios on. Yeah, you oh. can't really say the booths on. No, okay, either. okay, yeah, yeah, I feel you, understandable. But um, yeah, I definitely got some studios that I'm fucking with. Do you have Do you have like your own engineer or like you got one there? The one I got, like you know, studios got multiple engineers in them, but I got the ones that I personally. Fuck with like mm. I got two niggas I personally fuck with. I got eight numbers. I be calling them like if they not in there. If y'all ain't in that booth that day, I ain't even going. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Cause I'm not. I don't like just working with. And that's one thing about me that I had to learn. It's not good to work with multiple different engineers because these niggas all they work don't be the same. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Your quality sound dumb and shit. So when you like if you want to drop a mixtape, you can't have uh, multiple engineers on mm -hmm. your tape you because have, it, that shit be sounding different. Sound like your a total songs, different right? each one. Sound be liking that shit. Plus, it's hard. It's not even. It's not easy to get your sound. You know. Right. So it be to the point that you got to go ahead and make a song and make your send send the vocals, send the mixes and all that to your main producer. So you mm -hmm. could go back over. That's too much. You know what I'm saying. So I just fuck with the same two niggas like and maybe same two niggas on my tape. I feel like I feel like you're also one of the vet, one of the veterans in, in Baltimore that have a more so cur a curated more a more so curated is your own style. You know what I'm saying? And Fuck I know that. it probably didn't come out your first one to two songs. It probably was like that. Tell me about how you developed that. Uh, basically, I just been trying to like perfect myself. You know what I'm saying? I be want I like to try new shit like a lot. Like, mm -hmm. I be wanting to like 
when I hear flows, like that's why when I listen to music, I don't just listen to music, just no, I really study niggas, like for sure. Like when I really like depending on certain niggas, like I bump certain niggas how depending on how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? So I be wanting to know like how the fuck can I do it? Like you know what I'm saying? Instead of me bumping certain niggas depending on how I'm feeling, I could be making these songs depending on how I'm feeling. Mm. I could be listening to my song that I got for the pain. Okay. My song I got for the struggle, the murder, murder, kill, kill, shit, mm. song for the bitches. I can meet, man, I wanted to meet myself, meet everything. You know what mm. I'm saying? So like that's why when I first came home, I wanted to street harmonize. I'm telling my man's on the phone, like, I'm trying to harmonize. When I'm in the, I'm down in jail, I keep trying to harmonize. No, for real. It was definitely, you I'm definitely saying? wasn't doing that before. You feel me? I was just street rapping, raw shit. Like, mm-hmm. you feel I'm saying? But then I came home, I'm trying to give you different flows. I'm trying to sing a little bit. Like, that's how you get better. And that's how you get, like, with different genres and shit like that, different crowds and all that type of shit. So. I, know, I know it's like a lot of people don't like to talk about, you know, being locked up and stuff, but... Well, what is if we if we just gloss right over it? What is something you feel like you took from there? Like you know what I mean? Because you didn't, you know what I mean? Patience, mm-hmm. for sure. Main thing I took from jail was fucking patience. Like cause I told you, I don't like sitting still. I cannot sit still. I don't got ADHD or nothing. It's just my mind always. That's the world we live I wanna, in. Right. I want to do something. Like, I don't like. I don't like to be bored. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I want to move. I don't give a fuck. If I'm just walking to the store or some shit. I want to move. You know okay. What I'm saying? Like so when you in jail, that shit stop. Everything, like <laughs> everything did. You ain't on your time or nothing. Like you a grown ass man getting told what to do. How the fuck that make you feel? It don't, you know, it's that never, it's fuck. never okay. Like, um, bro, I'm in that bitch with niggas that was locked up since motherfucking, you'll be in that bitch with niggas that was locked up their whole life since 19 something. Yeah, I been in and out of here, in and out of here. Like, and they telling you this stuff. Like, yeah, like some niggas been in that bitch so long, they don't even want to go home because they don't know how to function outside. They don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be like, TikTok shit. probably would scare them. Yeah, All shit. that information. That shit be funny. I definitely learned like patience. You had to just sit and wait. I keep calling home, rushing it, keep making my mother call my lawyer again, 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 again. She like, bro, you just gotta wait. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Can't do shit. It's out your control. You feel me? I had to learn. Don't stress over shit you can't control. You feel what I'm saying? Just let it just do the time. Don't let the time do you. Time what, gonna roll whatever you like it or not. What, what was the first thing you did when you walked outside it? But when I got home, mm-hmm. what the fuck? I mean, like, I mean, it on what time. time. I, got, I, I came home a couple times. I mean, the most recent time, nigga, damn. <laughs> Niggas, I came home all the time. All right, no, the most recent time, what the fuck did I do? Normally, when I first come home, the first thing I do is go straight to the booth. Every time I do that shit, every time I come home, I go straight to the yeah. booth, same day. Said, no, I ain't gonna lie. When you first walk out the barbershop, <laughs> three, go eat something, and then hit the uh, I mean, when we first walk out of jail, you straight go eat something, hit the barbershop. Niggas always get the fried the chicken box. Right? Did you get the chicken box? I don't remember. No, I think we went out to eat. Oh, you went out? Yeah, we go out a lot. Fuck with my man Pepe. Yeah, big bro like to eat. And we going to eat something. <laughs> like, we going to the, we ain't even going to go stop. We going to sit down, like, oh, shit, the bro. whole day. Like, when we go out to eat, you know, normally people plan to go out to eat. No, we sit and we drive, we just... I mean, let's go sit down real quick. We, man, we in that bitch grubbing. Like, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't don't know the therapeutic, the, all that stuff that happens when you actually go to go to eat and sit down. You know what I'm saying? That's that's it's, that's therapeutic. Yeah, you know that I mean? should definitely be relaxing. Like you feel what I'm saying? Especially if you go to a nice place and they be whining and dining. Then you with the gang. Like then you with the gang. Like a lot of niggas. Yeah, we take bitches out to eat. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's a cool vibe when you eat when you out eating with a female. But it's like when you with a gang and y'all just chilling back, y'all eating, y'all just. Coming up with shit like you feel what I'm saying. I mean, we got, we got to do this. We got, you feel what I'm saying, man, mm. bro. I'm like, we all, man, Pat, and my man Mojo, like, we always just talking about what the fuck we got to do. You feel okay. what I'm saying? They not rappers, but they know, like, bro. I got this shit, bro. Like, you feel mm. what I'm saying? So, bro, not really be pushing the shit out of the nigga. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, we got to do this. We got to start doing this. You got to start doing this. Pat, we always in my head, bro. We got to mm. start doing this. Fuck you, doing? We both, let's hit the booth. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you don't even rap talk about that shit in the booth. <laughs> what the fuck? That's hilarious. You just like to sit there, roll up. That's yeah. this nigga do the whole time. Sit there, roll up, drink something, smoking. Niggas just watching me rap. We deep and shit all the time. I'm the only one rapping. Now everybody just, that's why I love my niggas. A lot of people, like, a lot of shit. people, they just, they just see like, oh, like they just protecting you or, or like, oh, they're your people from the hood or something. But a lot of people don't realize that's your support system. That is, Real those shit. are your brothers. You know nah, what I mean? These niggas really supportive. Like, bro, I really love these niggas to death. So and a lot of people, like, these you niggas don't put money up. Behind no, me. for real. Like, these niggas put money behind me. Dead oh, that's like, that's that's a one. Real shit. Like, that's a the, lot of sessions. These niggas paid for a lot of sessions. Videos we go half. Studio sessions we go half. These niggas don't rap. What? They ain't gotta put up for that. That's 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 a state. Like a lot of niggas can't say that. Yeah, they a lot do of that. niggas can't say that. A lot of niggas they be fighting over their homeboys over blunts. They don't have to though. 
know what I'm saying? That's the thing about it. That's why I really lock. That's why I really so like mm -hmm. lock them with my niggas because they don't gotta do nothing. They ain't like what the fuck. That ain't they priority. They ain't obligated to do nothing. They do the shit because they want to do it because they want me to do it. And they know like, why would you not go if a nigga saying he gonna pay for it? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Why would you not? That's free as shit. You know what I'm saying? My man's, bro, come on, bro. I'm, boy, I'm sleepy. They call me dumb. Let's hit the booth today. Dumb, <laughs> we got to shoot a video, bro. You ain't shoot a uh -huh. video. I shoot a video. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. They the niggas you need around you. Um, shit. A lot of these are for the up and coming artists. And some, some people that some people that probably haven't went to them don't have that studio experience or some of that. What are some of the, what are some of the pet peeves or like some of the things that you look out for that is a good studio? You know what I mean? Like, you, uh, you don't just be ending up at any old studio. Yeah, like, cause I done been to some, I done been to some studios that look good. You know what I'm saying, look great. The images, lights and big ass, nice soundboards, Apple computers, big ass speakers, all that type shit with the quality bullshit. Wow, that's crazy. I done been to a lot of them studios. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying, if I was messy, I'd have really named them. But it ain't, I can, I can name them for you, nigga. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> shit. But like, it's more so. The engineer, it's just the engine, bro. It ain't nothing but the nigga that's recording your shit. That's it. I don't give a fuck. I done recorded in basements, bro, and uh, this shit was a bomb. Yeah, you for know real. What I'm saying it's about if the engineer really care about you. Like if the engineer love what he do, he gonna bless your shit. I mean, exactly. Some, some niggas just get your money and put your shit together. Da, 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 da. I be the engineers I work with tell me, for me, I say a bar, no, nah, chop, say it one more time. I don't like how you said, say it mm -hmm. more energized or say it the same way you said, for me, boom, chop, do it again, chop. You know what I'm saying like. Them type of niggas, I love to be around. Like you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Cause like they really, you need you, but you don't understand that, that uh, engineer is literally like I don't know how is how would you how important would you say is it to the song? It's like it's, a, it's important to the vibe. Like it's everything. It fuck, like you know what I'm saying? Signs, every, you can't do nothing without the engineer. That's everything. You know what I'm saying? Like you need the engineer, bro. Like mm -hmm. unless you know what you're doing, and you can. I ain't doing all that, you know what I'm saying? But my engineer is so locked in with me, bro. My man called me, but man, at school. Like he, because you be working at a school too, he called me. Yo, some kids want to talk to you, FaceTime, and like, you talk on some regular shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. So yeah, the engineer definitely got to be all the way in. Or well, how long have you been working with that specific engineer? You know what I mean? My man, Meek. I was fucking my man, Meek, for a while. Like, my man, Meek, I probably got like. Damn, I got I probably got like three mixtapes in with me. What? For sure. Yeah, hell yeah. Me and my man KP. So you so you probably pretty much work on all your Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. For sure. Me and my man KP. Feel me? One over east, one out, one down south. So you feel like he helped you? Um, you feel like he was one one of the people that helped you kind of build this sound up? Yeah, because they like harmonizing, they gotta fuck with your vocals too. So mm -hmm. it's like they gonna they gotta help you find that pitch that you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Once I see like, yo, the artist and the engineer, y'all got to lock in. That's why another reason you're not good to work with hella engineers because y'all not going to learn each other. Mm -hmm. Your engineer got to know the artist, you know what I'm saying, to know his sound, mm -hmm. your vocals, like, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So when you go in, your shit off, when like, if I go to the booth, my vocals are already programmed into it, so I can just, bro, cut my shit on, let me fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like, so you feel like that's the really only, you said, um, that's the only thing you. I said I asked you um, what's, what's some of the important things you need, and, and I said that you go to that qualifies as a good studio. And you right. basically just said the engineer. It's just the engineer. I don't okay. give a fuck what the booth look like. <laughs> that bitch can be off a of fucking in a closet. Like as long as the engineer know what he doing, you you in there. Like, mm. You in there. But it definitely take a good mic though. You do need a good mic. If I'm saying a good mic, speakers, headphones, engineer. That's it. That's all you really need. We can set the shit up right here, right now. Mm -hmm. I'm saying put a mic, speaker, headphones right here. Engineer, we gonna make a banger right here on the table. Okay, sure. we talked about we talked about more so the behind the scenes of you going in the booth and your vibe and stuff like that. Now, um, I want to talk about the music videos because I feel like you can you can write a, you can write a nigga a, a to Z on how to make a good music video. Yeah, music video is just that's really what I'm working on right now at the mm -hmm. moment. Oh, you feel, feel like, like you're still I working a, on it? I need it. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm I'm working on myself every day for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't nobody never got it all figured out. Like, even if you think you do, you don't. There's a lot more you can learn. Real nigga sure. shit though. For I me, mean, I feel as though like I wanted to start like not keep shooting like videos on my block. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like anybody can hit the corner shoot a video. Like, I really want to get into making movies. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like I want to do shit like that. Like, I want my videos to be more energetic everywhere, spaced out. But you feel what I'm saying? A lot of niggas in the city be super taxing, like, 
Like, I don't know. Like, some cameramen, I be feeling like quality ain't worth what the fuck they be charging. And that shit be fucking with me. Like, like ain't we can pay this shit. It ain't nothing. But mm-hmm. I don't want to pay all this money and I ain't going to like my fucking video. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, shit, my God. That shit make me so mad. Took the words right out of my mouth. But they don't be understanding. That's why I be trying to stick with certain cameramen. Like, I just started fucking with who shot you. Mm-hmm. My man, Mike. I, I just I just tapped in with him. I fuck with bro. Bro shit hard. He shit is. Hard he is shit. hard. You know what I'm saying? Main visuals, that's my man, like, personally, that's really my man, like, I'm mm-hmm. fuck man, I can really call him, geek about him, play a game with him, shit like that, like, so. He was here a while ago, too. Yeah, I really yeah. fuck with them. He another nigga want to see a nigga grow, like, yeah, tell you, like, bro, let's shoot right here, let's shoot Yeah, this he thing. actually, he actually cares about the people yeah. he's shooting for, rather than just. Man, he Main fuck with you, really fuck with you. No, for real. For sure, like, for I me, mean, I be trying, like, I be trying, you shit, like, I, uh, at first I was shooting with Maggie, mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. me. That was my baby. When I first came home, she seen I was shooting videos up, nigga. She hot street in my head. Damn, chopper, what the f- What's up? Like, what's <laughs> Damn. I'm like, no, I just, I just came home. So I'm trying to get my flow back, trying to get my money back, right, Maggie? Mm-hmm. You cost a lot. You no, for real. Niggas don't know how, how, how Maggie much. Maggie expensive. <laughs> she retaction. <laughs> Shit, but she earned that. She earned it, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't mad at her. You mm-hmm. earned the fuck. You remember? Mm-hmm. I might be keep shooting $200 videos. When you come out, that's how you spark it up. And then as a while, you you go up. You know what I'm saying? The same shit with rappers. Your features be low and then go up. Show show page, low, go up. Like, shit real, man. Nope. He went up. Like, what shit, what, you, what it was just, I don't like to keep going back on jail, but a lot of people don't understand how expensive it is being in jail. Hell yeah. That shit is expensive being in jail. And that's how a lot of fallouts happen. Uh-huh. Like, a lot of niggas fall out with these niggas being in jail. But what niggas don't understand is, I had to learn, like, a lot of niggas is not obligated to do for you, but signing up for the streets, that's what you signed up for, like, your man get booked, you do for him, you feel what I'm saying? But not if you keep going back, bro. <laughs> like, you feel what I'm saying? Especially like, with dumb right, shit. But, yeah, like, but if you keep I getting see. in there, keep getting in there, keep getting in there, bro, a nigga got to keep taking care of you, bro. A nigga being like, a jail nigga is a bill. That's a bill. Every time you turn around, you need... Uh, you want uh, you need shit on your books, mm-hmm. money on your phone. Then you know these niggas get high, bro. So they be getting high. Niggas want cash ass. Then these niggas don't even ask for regular cash ass. Send me seventy five dollars. Send me fifty. Yo, for real, cause they just be sent you fifty yesterday. <laughs> the fuck? What you eating and shit? You eating the money like you ain't even like what the fuck is where is going at, bro? Yo, that jail shit is no, it's expensive. Nigga be want hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm trying to make this. Let me try and make this flip real quick. Send me hundred, a hundred. Fuck my nigga. Next week, send you another hundred, bro. What the fuck is you talking about, bro? Like I just sent you a hundred. What the fuck did that? Where that go at? Like niggas be. Um, I know that 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 talk that talk breaking a nigga down like you can't do it this week. That's that like this. Yeah, that shit fuck you out sometimes. Like dummy, I can't do it, bro. But it's like then when you tell a nigga like you tell you send a nigga a cash at right now, I send you fifty dollars. Feel me? Next week you ask me, I ain't got it for you. Feel what I'm saying? Well, I tell you, nah, not this time, bro. Like, mm-hmm. nigga, straight like you never did nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga be fucked up over the jail. Like, nigga be doing shit like that. Like, that's why when I get booked, bro, I don't really be, feel what I'm saying? Nothing more. I ain't going back. But when, when niggas be in there, dummy, I just, like, as I kept going, I just was like, bro, I ain't even calling niggas. Because, like, niggas don't even be doing right for niggas. Only mm-hmm. certain niggas. Feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Niggas get in that bitch and you get forgot about. Mm-hmm. Nigga just free bro, free bro, posting. What the fuck? What Man, you? posting me. I can't like that shit. I mean, you want me call me? Like, what the fuck? You ain't write me. You ain't send me no pictures. I don't even know your fucking number by heart. You ain't even like nigga be hell. Well, That's how that shit be though. But I'm gonna tell a nigga on the rip, bro. I'm gonna look out for you, but no, not every time, bro. I'm not gonna keep no. I still got shit I got to do myself. Uh-huh. You asking for fucking bail money? Bill, like, that's the that's a whole that's a whole if yeah. you if you add that shit up a month that's a whole light bill. Yeah, niggas be you know what I'm saying? especially if you in there for a long time and I gotta do shit for you the whole time you in there that's hell that's hell of money, bro. Why do why do you feel like niggas feel so obligated? obligated. You, why do you feel what I'm saying? Like I don't know. Like they ain't got nobody. A lot of niggas don't have nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I be understanding that. Like, but when you got a good support system, a good family, you know what I'm saying you're gonna be all right. Like you know what I'm saying like my mother and them always gonna make a way for me. Like you know what I'm saying. Or like if these niggas that be popping that shit, like they got so many bitches and all that type of shit. Where them bitches at, bro? Like, the <laughs> fuck, call them bitches. Like, no, for real, man. The fuck. Let's let's get away from jail, man. I don't like. I personally don't like talking about that shit, but it's a, it is a story. Like people do like to hear about that shit. Weird shit. shit. Um, let's let's go let's go back. Um, I want I want to hear your opinion on. Don't you know about the whole Bucking uh, Gallaham or whatever the guy named? And he went to he went to YMCA. And then they posted the video on YouTube. And oh then yeah, they, yeah, they got yeah, indicted yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah. How do you, how do you feel about that? I don't lie, I feel like niggas be overdoing shit. Or niggas be like 
niggas just be making their own narratives up in the head and shit like that. How the fuck did Joe get them indicted and shit like that? How? He's exactly. Going with the fuck he do? He do that on a regular. Like, exactly. Fuck, he get them indicted. He don't do that. Like, they probably been on the investigation. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't, nigga can't get mad at Joe. What did he do or say that incriminated them? Mm-hmm. Even if anything in the video was incriminating, he ain't do it. He didn't, he didn't, act, he didn't, he asked him like, yo, what you doing out here? And they answered the question. Asking questions. them. Like, he asking them questions. He don't even know them personally enough to incriminate them. How? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He asking them questions. Yo, what y'all doing? Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Every time, but nigga don't understand, that. every time you whip money out on camera, you going to smack go on the investigation. Mm-hmm. Especially if you whipping out hell, hell of bread, hell yeah, bread, chains, watches, cars, clothes. They going on. The they be f- sitting there waiting he, for. How is he making this? You know what I'm saying, how could he afford that chain watch? That, that, that businessman, he, business niggas don't even got that shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying, so it's like that trade put niggas on the investigation. Like you know what I'm saying, Your, our video, our videos put us on the investigation. That's how I got bought the first time ever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying for the baby. They had your video. They had the screenshots of the video in Jiffy Mac. My discovery was big as shit. They told me they had twenty eight pictures or videos with me holding a firearm. You know what I'm saying? It was my my music straight put me on investigation, so they started watching my all my social medias and shit. You know what I'm saying? They uh my attorney was in a fucking visit with me and he read my discovery and quote unquote said something that I said in a song and all that. So like. Our music smack put us on investigation. And then the videos be showing shit. I'm in the videos when I was 17, 16, showing hella guns and all that. You notice mm-hmm. like as I got older, I got wiser. That's what the fuck you supposed to do. I don't put guns and all that shit on my video no more, cause the fuck am I proving, bro? Niggas not trying to get investigated every year. Fair me. Like, bro, nigga could be on investigation as we speak, just off of some hate and ass. You never know till it's too late. Ass system. You'll never know until they kicking your shit and grabbing you. Fair me. They know who I am. Like yeah. police know who I am. Like mm-hmm. they, they fuck with me. All the time, like on some petty ass shit, and with no reason, no probable cause or nothing, they'll pull up, follow me, roll the window down, bro. Chat, oh, what's up? Hey, how long you been home? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit so corruptly fucked up in the city. They, bro. they like, and they, and they feel like they just it was just whole headline about how they caught like six officers, but those that's only those six. Like that shit didn't stop with them. Bro, it's a lot of them that need to go to fuck. Like you know what I'm saying? Go to jail. Like and I don't was jailing nobody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no telling that nigga, but. It's a lot of officers that should be where Herschel and all them at. You know what I'm saying? For being fucked up. Like, like y'all fucked up. Y'all be fucking with our freedom. Like, we ain't got nothing to live for. Like, we ain't not, human. Not even that, nigga. I feel like just that alone from the police fucking with you, that can give you PTSD, bro. Just that alone. Now you looking at behind your back. Bro, when I see the police, bro, my fucking anxiety start pumping. Like, on my kids. I Me too. To I, don't need, I do podcasts. Like, I be feeling the same. Bro, my stomach goes straight in my ass when I see police. I ain't even got to be doing nothing. I could just be sitting there. But when they pull up, my stomach goes straight in my ass. I'm thinking like, bro, what they really do? They pull up, stop in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Mind you know they shit smacked out so you can't really see in there. Mm-hmm. They just stopping. You walking off. They following. You walking. They just trailing. You hit the corner. They coming through the corner. <laughs> You know what I'm saying if you go somewhere where a car where the car can't go at, mm-hmm. you have it out. Mm-hmm. And they chase you. What mm-hmm. you doing? Come here. I'm going to run. I'm going to run every time. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. If I know I wasn't doing it. No, that, for real, I'm bro. Going to run. It's just, y'all kill people. No, for the real. Fuck? I think I'm reading somebody here let y'all beat my ass up. A lot and of then people. Then cut the body cam on. No, a lot of people don't. A lot of people, they just, they see from the outside. They just think that, oh, we always doing something wrong. But as us, you know what I'm saying, growing up, we taught that these people kill us type shit. That's especially dumb. our specific demographic. That's you know what, what I'm saying, mean? bro. Like, if the community, like, if, I, if us as people, you know I'm saying, as the whole people, you know I me, mean? was to spark that Black Panther shit. We ain't strong enough, first of all. We don't mm-hmm. know how. You know, we, don't, we don't know unity. We don't know how to unite and really come together. Niggas at the hill can't even so get... so fucking hating. Like, exactly. You know on each other when we can really come together and fuck the system up. We know everything the system want us to do. Fail, fall, kill each other. Feel me? They sending that shit over here. How the fuck you think we getting all these connections and shit like that? They exactly. sending that shit over to grab it, kill each other. Feel me? Make each other old. They killing us all. Feel what I'm saying? They killing us, bro. Feel me? But if we were strong enough to really come together and fight a, and fight against them people, bro, we will fuck them up. Black Panther Party wasn't going for that shit. It they was wasn't. killing them police. They was. It was killing the shit out them. They left them. All that corrupt shit. We catch you beating the shit out one out. Black be killing y'all. Yeah, like, they did. They was not having that shit. Feel me? We what if one of them was the president? <sighs> I'm saying, what if one of the Black Panther leaders was to be able to be president? They would never let that shit happen. They gave us a fake nigga like Barack Obama. That's what I'm telling you. Like one of the Black Panther Party leaders was to be president, bro. This shit do you, what do you feel about? I mean, this kind of we're kind of supposed to be talking about rap and shit, but I'm kind of yeah. I'm, we're kind of obviously it's about to talk about something else. What do you feel about Barack Obama? Barack Obama, uh, I appreciated the fact that he was 
uh, a black president in the seat. I do for sure, but I really wasn't even really studying Barack Obama because I was a little younger. But I just, I was just loving the fact that he was black in the seat. That's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But mm. it came with it. Like, uh, uh, everybody got their good and their bad ways about him. There's a lot of things about Barack Obama that was fucked up. A lot of things that was good. You know what I'm saying? He did a lot of good shit, Obamacare, all that type of A lot of good shit, charities, all that type of shit. So a nigga can't really, you know what I'm fucking with him. Okay, you know let's okay. get back to let's get back to his music shit. Um, music videos. Why why do these niggas feel like they can tax us so much? Because they feel as though they know their worth. So you can't really be mad about it. Like, I believe, like a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas been shooting videos for so long they just went up. You feel what I'm saying? Are you? They, they don't even have a reason why they went up. They just went up because they were shooting videos for a long time. I mean, I've been doing this shit for five years. I'm gonna just boost my price up. Why not? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. I don't know. Like, feel me? A lot of rappers just boost their feature prices up after a while. I mean, I dropped a couple of tapes, a couple of videos. I'm buzzing now. My feature's going up. That's what you're supposed to do, though. Feel what I'm saying? Once you get to know your worth and your worth go up in your eyes, and you get more notice, your networking got bigger, you go up. So mm-hmm. I really ain't too much complaining about that. I just fuck with who suits me. Feel me? How much do you feel like? How much do you feel like in this in this day and age? Should you feel like you be playing for paying for a good video? I mean, it really like. Like how, like how much like what the fuck we paid a four lot of six. different prices so like we paid like four to six four to six four to six hundred mm-hmm. seven you can get some solid for I paid down there band for a lot of almost uh, a band for some videos and shit like Maggie shit, mm-hmm. Maggie shit Maggie shit Maggie shit so fucking worth it though bro no for real it God, is bro. it that is shit so worth it bro but uh, sometimes niggas just don't even be wanting to do all of that for mm-hmm. no how I love Maggie that's my baby for sure Talk about talk about some of your. Do you have a lot of people? A lot of people they they come here. They watching this interview. They of course they know you from you know of anything. They could have seen you from a lot of things. Right. Um, if you had to give them three sentences, you know, rather than people just making preconceived notions, you know, what I'm saying, if you had to give them three sentences to describe you, like, what would you say? To describe me. Mm-hmm. The type of person you are, like, let alone this rap shit, like, type yeah, of person I'm you a, are. I'm a, a humble nigga, well put together, respectful. Respected, you know what I'm saying? Respectful and respected, you know what I'm saying? I'm a funny-ass nigga. Like, yes, you, know you are. Everybody just think I'd be on some tough ass. You look mean. Nah, my niggas be niggas that's around me know, like, bro, I'm funny as a bitch, bro. I'm going to have you on your ass the whole day while you're around me. Like, I be mm-hmm. eating, you know what I'm saying? But I can't get serious, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. I'm, I'm laid back. Johnny Cage, real shit. You're going to fuck with me. If you know me, you're going to fuck me. If you don't fuck with me, you hate him. Okay, but I'm a cool nigga. Real I shit. think you're a cool nigga too. Just from just from the you know shit that I've seen, because I I never I've never been around you and shit like that. I've just seen you know where everybody can look up and see. Right. And I be geeking. You be saying my shit get reposted and shit when I be talking to my shit on Instagram. I be fucking geeking. No, for real. I ain't no tough ass rapper, bro. I ain't trying to be something. I'm not. I ain't trying to be Danny facing the bitches. They be fucking bluffing. Them niggas be. Bluffing. <laughs> They really do. Feel me? I don't walk around outside all day with a mask on, nor half the city on my dick. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I'm face out. You feel what I'm saying? Why not? How you feel about that whole Pooh Shiesty era? Do you feel like it's still in full thrive? I feel like it's dead as hell. Yeah. That Shiesty man shit. Bro, I hate that shit. I really hate it. I hate that Niggas shit. Niggas wearing it in middle yeah, schools. Bro, like, I hate that shit. Bro, I, said, I just said that the other day. It's kids now. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, bro, nigga, blow y'all little ass up. Like, y'all walking through niggas' blocks. Six deep, all black masks on. Mm. No bitties. What the fuck is y'all doing that for? Y'all ain't beefing or nothing. Why are y'all dressed in the get down? Coming, coming from school, though. Coming from school. <laughs> the fuck is you doing? You in school with the mask hanging off your head and all that type shit. You can't go nowhere. You can't go to parties, clubs, and all that type shit because there's 100 niggas in there with a mask on. Now your anxiety through the roof. You know I can't what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't be wanting to keep. That's why I don't really be doing all that going out. Like Just because of that reason. Yeah, like, like, then if a nigga going out, nigga got to be 100 deep just to make sure niggas good because it's like, bro, niggas be on some. Niggas don't be having nothing to lose out here, bro. These nothing to lose. Fucked up, mm-hmm. bro. All that type of shit, full of hatred. Not even, it's not even about being mm-hmm. broke. It's just that their, their mind is broke. You know what I mean? Right. Nigga. You don't even, you know what I'm saying? You don't even have to have money. You know, to, like to crash out. I've seen niggas crash out and have money. And That's because so niggas ain't got no love, yo. These a lot of niggas need a fucking hug, bro. If you really think about <laughs> it, bro, these guys think these niggas be having so much built up. You don't know what be niggas, what niggas be going through. They parents probably don't love them. Like, you know what I'm saying? They probably ain't got nowhere to go. Like, they life ain't going how they wanted to go at all. So, like, they probably just be. Fuck life. Fuck my life. Fuck your life. You know what I'm saying? Let's no get you. What you looking at me for? Oh, yeah, you really kill him. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be, 
Niggas be moving off of that type of niggas, shit. Niggas, niggas do, niggas do. What's so? What's some? Um, I know. Let's let's go to some more lighthearted shit. Uh, you, you like you said, you 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 notice that kids are looking up to you. You notice that kids are, you know, they know about you. You know what I'm saying? And they, right. and, they and they are fans of you. What do, what are some of the main things you try to push to the youth? Like, don't do nothing like that'll really make your whole life just go down a drain. Like you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like when you look in that like. Like when people look up, when younger niggas look up to me, I want them look up to me for the right reasons, not the wrong shit, not the dumb shit I did. Don't look up to me because of the dumb shit I did. Don't look up to me for no fucking the jail times and saying guns in my videos, the old videos and shit like that. Don't look up to me for that type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like sometimes don't even just only listen to the bad shit I say in some songs. I really say a lot of motivational shit in my songs. No, you do. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of grind shit. Like, bro, I want niggas to really know, like, bro. I really came from some hard times, bro. Like, and a nigga really still going the day I wake up every day smiling, like every day, bro. That's and that's a, that just the fact that you smile every day. That's that's a that's a success. Day, that's a success right shit. there. Niggas walk around every day mugging unhappy as a bitch, bro. I want we smiling every day geeking, bro. Like, feel me? I want the young niggas to know, bro. Like, yo, you ain't gotta be no killer, bro. You ain't gotta be no gangster, bro. That's you ain't even, even gotta cool. rap, bro. No like, for real. This city just feel like they have to rap. You ain't even got to rap, bro. Like, you could be a fucking plumber. Be a Go fucking sell some fire windows. Fire. You feel know what I'm saying? Sell bro, cars. Sell some windows. You want to be a police officer? Be a police officer, bro. <laughs> Take them corrupt ass niggas out and show them. Yeah, be a real police officer, uh-huh, bro. For real, though. I got, I got homeboys that's a police officer, bro. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I ain't looking at them no differently. I love them niggas to death. Them niggas ain't no petty ass officers. Them niggas ain't none of that. They ain't no family, and they still gangster. Mm-hmm. Family, regardless, like hell yeah, family. They just know like they can't persuade nothing else because you, you, at the day you a police officer. So, but they loyal and they real niggas, bro. Like so, I don't. I be wanting the young niggas that, bro. But just do what you feel suits your life, bro. Don't ever try to jump out there, jump out the porch when you ain't got to. Don't try to go you out there, bro, yeah, exactly. and kill and steal, and then you ain't got to. You don't have a lot to. of niggas out here doing that shit. Don't have to do the shit, bro. Like. Family, your mother got money, father got money. Like you you gonna get yourself. You killed. slide you slide you sliding on the full stomach. Like what the fuck? Spoon fed. You ate with a gold spoon. What the fuck? Like and you wanna live a life that niggas didn't wanna live. Like no, that shit real. be backwards than me, bro. Like I don't Okay. Know. So um for somebody for somebody that was building a playlist and they was like, fuck, I need three Chapo songs for my playlist. Damn. Three cho- I'll ask you that too. But I want him to answer first. I don't know. We ride around. We bump a lot of unreleased shit. We bump some shit I got. Some shit that's out. But we bump a lot of unreleased shit, too. I like to bump myself. You got to be out. You got to be out. I bump. Uh, shit. Damn, I got That's Barado. I fuck with that's right. No, I'm going to go. I'm going to straight go with 2700 Youngin. Mm. Feel me? I'm going to go with the songs that's I think it's love. I'm going to go with 2700 Youngin. Feel me? I'm going to go with... Um, with him, the fuck is you with him? He gonna hit you, you jump. He love that song. <laughs> no, I'm gonna for go real. with that one. I'm gonna go with Twenty Seven Hundred Young. I'm gonna go with fucking. Uh, damn. Let me put this in my list. Shit. Let's see. I'm gonna go with. <laughs> Give me five seconds, bro. Real five shit. Seconds, Give me five, five seconds. seconds. It's five it's seconds. Right. It's five all right. Seconds. Y'all ain't doing five shit. Seconds. I was just watching. Just give a couple minutes. Give me five, real shit. Five seconds, bro. Because really? it's like, bro, I don't you, know. You I got bump, your three songs? I bumped myself so fucking much that I don't be, uh, oh, yeah, annoying. Oh, yeah. Annoying. That's mm. that shit. That's on Desperado. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Got to bump annoying. You know what I'm saying? That's that. That's that. And I got different songs for different things, like pain songs. If you want to, if you want to, Bump, struggle. That's three songs for you right there. But I gotta really go into detail. You wanna go struggle wise? You gotta bump. Uh, um, getting real. You oh hell yeah. Saying? You gotta bump getting real. Or you. You be surprised bump, how many of the hoes like that shit. Right. You gotta bump getting real. You gotta bump project poetry. You feel what I'm saying? That's my shit. You gotta bump project poetry. Or all right, Ben, you wanna bump like pain songs? You bump lost niggas took niggas. That's L N T N. You feel what I'm saying? You bump that. Feel me? Or you want to bump? You want to go turn up? You bump? Get on it with me featuring R two R Mari. Okay. Uh, get back with fucking L B G B M. Okay, you know yeah, I heard you that. One. I listened that. to that like, one way here. Feel me? A lot of different things you could really bump. Or you want to bump something like far as for the females? You bump mm-hmm. I get her. Feel me? You bump that. Or 
You want to go up again. You bump. You, you I mean go, it. You go all day. Yeah, I mean, I can go really give you day. different things, so I really can't. I got to give you a real playlist. I knew, like, I I knew he was going to be. I knew, was, I knew he wasn't just going to be able to get shit like that, real shit. I knew he wasn't going to be able to three. I knew he was going to give you about like eight of the motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you well, all I ever mean? wanted. Got to bump that. All I ever wanted. That's that. I got, I got, I thought it was Ocean, like, the comeback. Desperado. And, like, Y'all, it's this one called DC for real. We, we, we oh, DC freestyle. I didn't listen. To that we, bitch. We went to the studio. We shot the video down there too. Y'all went to the studio in DC. You went to the studio in DC and we shot the video out. DC it was colder than a mama. I didn't listen to that. I need Bitch, to tap in. Shit, that's that DC freestyle and it fucked me up so much because I feel like the nigga slept on that. Like, I slept that's on that. Fucked up, bro. Like nigga slept on that. I don't know. We should have shot it probably in the city. The video, like it could have been a video, yeah. but that bitch hard. Like the audio banged. I was mm-hmm. the video, but it's like, what the fuck? That bitch so hard, bro. Bump DC freestyle. Like, okay, okay. I got, I got two important more questions before we get out of here. Mm-hmm. The first one, um, how do you for for someone that deals with the someone that deals with loss? How do you deal with loss for for for, the, for other people that still don't know how to deal with? How do you find yourself dealing with it? With a loss? I mean, like losing losing somebody. You losing know, somebody. Like, I don't know. I just grind. I just try to. I just try to keep my head on the positives. No, like they still watching. You feel what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. recently, my man just died in a car accident. You feel what I'm saying? I need a month ago, my man Melly. Feel me? I got an orange bracelet on. Everything for Melly. Feel what I'm saying? All two while Melly, that was my man. That's how I met him. I met him locked up. Feel what I'm saying? When mm-hmm. I was like 16, I met him. You feel me? That was my dub, and that's how I met Mario and all them. That's the all two niggas. They my niggas. I love them niggas. Like niggas loyal. You them niggas really. They love you. They love you and they accept you. You can really go chill with them niggas. Like mm-hmm. you can't do that with a lot of niggas. You can't go else. chill on anybody. Block them niggas. It's setting me all the fam and just cause my man Melly. Once Melly brought me around, it was love ever since. You know what I'm saying? Like wow. real shit, my man Melly died in a car accident. My man Kiki died in a car accident. He was getting chased by the petty ass police and they made him crash. You know what I'm saying? Mm. My man Melly died because a bitch ran a stop sign and hit him. You know what I'm saying? Some petty ass shit. You know what I mean? I got niggas that I got niggas that got back door, bro. I got niggas that died died in the jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit real, but I just be keeping this shit pushing like breath in the day, bro. My niggas still here. And we all gotta go one day anyway, so we'll be back clicked up. You know okay. what I'm saying? Fuck it. Do you have a do you have a therapist? No, I had therapists, bro. Believe it or not, bro, I ain't got like I ain't got ADHD, I ain't got anger problems, I ain't got bipolar, I ain't got none of that shit. Like, nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? But, but I just had, the environment I had that we live in. I had Therapist, I had mentors, and I definitely had an anger management problem because when I was young, I just get mad, and it wasn't bipolar. I just but it's not so even much. it's not even a matter of being diagnosed mm-hmm. with shit like that. It's just like, bro, the, the, the environment right. where we grow up, bro. That's just that's like we're that's we're that's all those are first shit. feelings. And I always was like, I was the one of the kids that like had so much anger built up, like, and was always waiting for one person to really make me fuck them up, like, and that's what was happening in school. I was fucking niggas up, like, on some. Me can get like you get mad. You will see something to me. I think about how my grandmother died. Mm. I beat the shout you like you know what I'm gonna beat the shout a nigga like he said something about my grandma like real shit like. But I had to do that in summer. In summertime, I had a summer therapist pop by my house, hollering at me, family group and shit like that. Like when I was young, but my that the mentor, my mentor that I had, I still fuck with y'all to this day. Like you know what I'm I grew up and I still hollering like that's my man's now. Like first was a mentor, now it's my man. Like that's a great. That's great. That's great. I mean, plus not even that. I feel like. You don't not you have your support system to lean on too, right? No so, question. that's that's great to hear. That's great to hear. Um, um, I kind of kind of a lighthearted question for upcoming artists, people that's trying to make it in the game like you. Um, what are some of the what are some of the key things that you feel like you need in your song? Like key things you need in your song. Um, more so, uh, shit that make people think like. You gotta see some out of the box type of shit. I freestyle, you know what I'm saying? But when I write, I get funky, like for sure. Like, but I ain't wooten a long time. Like everything that y'all hear out of freestyle. Feel me? That's hard. But I feel as though you gotta try to be different. Feel me? Don't try to sound like nobody. Don't try to steal flows. Don't try to do all that. Don't try to even say some shit that nigga said, even though you wanna say something somebody mm. said and everybody gonna everybody do it. Recycle balls, we all did this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Industry niggas say shit that the nigga said. You know what I'm saying? Supposed to be loving the but art. It's like, yeah, like it's just it's just the love of this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just giving respect out to who did it first. 
feel me? But just be yourself with this shit, bro. Don't try to go over and say some shit that you know you're not doing, bro. Don't try to go talk this murder, murder, kill, kill shit. You ain't got to do that to make a good song. Don't diss dead niggas if you ain't ready for what the fuck going to come behind that. For no, sure. For I feel like you, you need to say saying? that again. Real shit. A lot of I'm people don't understand. They think that shit cool. Niggas be dissing and think like when they see niggas, they ain't, they not standing on what the fuck they say or they forgot they even just dissed. Nah, mm-hmm. stand on everything. If you want this, be the fuck ready for that. For real, like, don't diss though. Me, me, probably I don't even like to do all of that. But it's like some niggas really just be dissing the shit out niggas, and sometimes you might gotta say a little fuck back. To, but I'm working on not even intervening with that dumb ass shit. Cause a lot of niggas be bluffing, a lot of niggas be ready to throw their life away, and that's how. The police tap in the shit because they mm-hmm. listen to our songs. So they don't listen diss, to songs. Don't diss, bro. They one of the first people. That's, they one of your first viewers on there. When you they solving a lot of shit like that with these songs. So just be yourself, bro. Make love songs. Make songs about what the fuck you've been through. Make songs about your family. Where you trying to go? Where you where you came from? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying like goals, future plans. Like make shit like that. Yo. You ain't got to do all that to make a good song. Just be yourself. No, for real. Shit. Um, any y'all got any questions for me for? If I close out, why your nails painted? <laughs> why, my, why my nails painted? Yeah, I was it's, it's not really a big deal. I, I mean, I, I mean, no, no, it's not a big deal. I, 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 I know you listen to Lil Uzi and all them. I mean, I fuck with Uzi, but it's not. That's not the reason. Why I didn't Lil Yachty and them. Yeah, I bump Yachty, but it's not the reason why. Playboy Cardi and them. I do, but I, that's not the reason why though. That's not the reason uh, why. The reason. Let me know. It's just like I, I get my I get my nails done. I've been getting it done all my life, and just and just one day, it was just like why why not get a color? Like it wasn't even. It was way before this shit was even before niggas was even doing it. It's not the first nigga I seen though. It was just like why hey, not to get a color? Though, yeah. How did your girlfriend feel about that when she first met you? She uh, <laughs> she ain't really say nothing about it. You know, we we go together and get them done. You know. You got a black girlfriend. Yes. Oh, I got, I got some questions for her. You got some questions for my girl? You want me to call her? Yeah, call her. Let's call her. <laughs> she probably like, Chiba. I'm like, hey, all right, Shit. shorty, you still with me? You know what you Shit. Actually, I was questioning. I'm like, no, I don't know if I think that was bleeping. She better answer. Damn. Shit. Damn. 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 So, Mr. Chapo wants to ask you why you're with me and what did you think when I first got my nails colored? Here, he goes right here. Wait, what did you say? He wants you. Right. So, his nails is painted, right? Uh-huh. Blue. These so are you first these met are silver. When you first met them, silver. When you first met them, they silver? Silver, they silver. They look blue. They gray. They look, when you first met them, right? What did you feel? Like, when you, when he, when you first met them, was his nails painted when you first met them? They were clear. They was clear? All right, what the fuck? That's I didn't know. I didn't remember. So the first time you seen him put a color on his nails, what the fuck did you think? I thought it was cool. <laughs> yeah. I ain't mad at you. Is she white? Tell the tell crowd she white or not. She, did she look white? No, nah, she definitely ain't white. <laughs> For sure, she definitely ain't white. I ain't, hey, I don't know. That's just, I was just curious. Like, did you think, like, no, nah, this he weird. Like, he, you know what I'm saying? A lot of females don't like it. A lot of females do like this shit, so I don't know. Well, like, it, it. That already seemed like it didn't seem like out the blue that he would get his nails painted just because like he would get his hair dyed and stuff like that. So it just, it wasn't it wasn't like nothing like I thought it was cool. I don't know. I thought like he just the type of person like that express himself differently. You listen to Lil Yachty. You listen to Lil Uzi. She and she gotta listen to, to it in the car with me. You listen to all of them, don't you? She listened to it with me. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's all right. I ain't mad. I know everything I need to know. That's not the reason why though. Like <laughs> no, I was going away before then. I don't know. A lot I'm, of shit I'm be inspired. My way. I mean, I, I, it was way before Playboy Cardi. When they, I feel like when they did it, like they was fucking, they was like twerking and shit and like voguing and shit. <laughs> like that's a total, <laughs> tw- like that's a total different shit. Like them niggas are actually doing gay shit. Like, yeah, I ain't, I, uh, yeah, yeah. don't I get me wrong. I fuck with them niggas as artists. I fuck with them niggas as artists though. I do though as artists, not. No, that's it. Hey, but Vogan don't got yeah, nothing to do with creating all that Vogan like, and all that. <laughs> all that. <laughs> Ain't no reason they should be twerking on the stage. I don't be feeling that. Them niggas could make some good music. Like, you Lil Uzi Vert was doing splits on, on stage. Yeah, I ain't on. I don't with a purse. GT, I don't. Now, I ain't on that type of shit. I fuck with GT, but shit. Mm-hmm, bro. I ain't mad she at got, you. She got some questions. I ain't mad at you, JT, baby. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Um, on that note, I'm happy. That asking your question. Yeah, yeah, that 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 was cool. That was cool. 
I, me personally, I wouldn't. Though. I mean, I definitely get the clear coat for sure. I got the clear coat all the time. Drinking, drinking I do need my shit huh? clear coat. Drinking, drinking no, I'm drinking. I'm drinking. It was just I didn't want to get drunk because he ain't yeah. he ain't drinking. You know what I mean? I thought it yeah, would be last yeah, night. We was drunk last we was night. We don't drink everything. We don't drink everything. We can't drink everything. You got to let your shit cleanse. You got to let your shit cleanse? Yeah, I'm going to get back at it. I'm about to get drunk. You see, I'm going right, to say that. Hey, man. Anything you want anything to tell the people before we sign off? I'm on my fucking way. Subscribe to YouTube. Yo, yeah. Fuck yeah. Subscribe to my channel. Big Chapo. B-I-G-G-C-H-A-P-O. Subscribe. It'll be in the description. Yeah. Like. Comment. Yeah. All that shit. Really, bump my YouTube but Follow me on Instagram at underscore Big Chapo at underscore B I G G C H A P O and mm-hmm. follow me on Twitter. Same shit, mm-hmm. real shit. After you do that to him, do that to him first, then do it to me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Turn no, that no, my no. Mat. Don't worry. About, don't worry about my shit. Do it to him first. <laughs> but definitely turn that into my mat for sure. Um. Until next time, this has been another week. Goodbye. Bam. Now I walk over here and shit. Hit the button and shit.